The so long awaited video is finally here. Hours of me playing special delivery, thousands of glitches, but a lot of suits and CPUs. The second part of me playing Five Nights at Freddy's special delivery for a week is finally here. If you are new, then I should recommend that you go and watch the first part, since you will get the context of how this challenge works, but I will tell you the basics. I'll send from my main account to my second account, all the stuff that I don't have there, and I'll try to get the suits, and CPUs, but here's the catch, I only have 5 days to play and get as much stuff as possible, not counting Saturday or Sunday. But before we start, consider subscribing, it motivates me and makes me do this type of videos for all of you, I know special delivery is a dead game, <laughs> but that doesn't mean that there can't be content about it. Also, one last thing, a big shout out to all the legends that added me, some of them helped me and sent some animatronics, so if you also want to help with the journey, here is my friend code so you can add me and possibly help me, who knows, I might send some animatronics to those who add me, and with that being said, enjoy the video. The nightmares start again. My objective for this part was to get at least one skin from any character and get the characters that don't have a skin. And I started by sending Little Red Chico with Foxy CPU. I mainly wanted the CPU, since the skin is, well, ugly. But outside of that, the fight wasn't anything I couldn't handle. I also went ahead and fought Ringmaster Foxy with Jack Ochika CPU. I chose the CPU because I wanted to get some tough CPUs and I wanted to get them out of the way, the fight wasn't that bad. I successfully defeated her and as well started going after Frost Bear. At this point the fights aren't that hard, mainly because of the remnant milestone updates that I got. And this fight was proof of it. I had a lot of time to shock Frost Bear, although the frost in the screen made it hard to see, but eventually I defeated him. In the process, I also got my daily challenges done, got some coins, which I used to buy some batteries. I will later explain why I buy so many of them. Not long after my first fight, I got Frostbear's suit, the first suit of the day and the first of the challenge. Took me at least three tries, but I eventually got it. After that, it took me a couple of minutes, but I got the Foxy CPU, another CPU to add to the list. And this day couldn't get any better. 45 minutes in and I already got two things, certainly things can't get any good, and... Oh, another suit, how wonderful, it literally took me five tries but I got Ringmaster Foxy. Then, I started going after a new foe, Flamethrower Endo with Jack Ochika CPU, the fight wasn't that bad, I successfully defeated him, and I wasn't giving up on the Jack Ochika CPU. And things settled down a bit, because one hour and 17 minutes in, Nothing new dropped, so I fought Little Red Chicka with Toy Chicka CPU, just to see how things go, the fight wasn't that hard. Toy Chicka is certainly a very difficult animatronic but eventually, I defeated her, <coughs> not bad at all. 10 minutes later, and I got Toy Chicka's CPU, what is it with my luck today, it's certainly something else. After some time, I leveled up to level 15, and got quite a lot of buffs, and went after someone new. Jack O'Bunny, I only wanted the CPU, his suit didn't matter that much to me. But it was just like Jack O'Chica, nothing too special or hard for me in this fight. <gasps> One fight later, and Flamethrower Endo was mine, a really cool looking skin that I can add to my list of skins. It was just 2 hours and 28 minutes into the challenge, and I already gotten a lot of stuff, I can certainly get a lot more. If I keep up the pace then I can get at least one more thing before this day ends. I also sent Dark Water Endo with Jack Ochik a CPU, at this rate I'll fight everyone with her CPU, but at last, I got it, the pain is now over, Jack Ochik a CPU, this is the happiest moment of my life. Oh, and Jack O'Bonny suit I guess, what do you expect me to say, he's Jack O'Bonny. New days, new opportunities. But same old animatronics, I kept fighting Dark Water Endo, but this time with Funtime Freddy CPU, I wanted to get the CPU to complete the set, one thing about me, I always find the bun bun part so stressful, we don't care, let me tell, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care, I don't know why though, I got tired of fighting Little Red Chica, she literally gave me nothing but pain, 
so I switched to Liberty Chica with Jacko Body CPU, to be honest. I prefer that skin a lot more than Little Red Chica, so it was nice to change the suit, I honestly should have done that sooner. 15 minutes in, and I got Funtime Freddy CPU, now I have full Funtime Freddy. I also completed my daily challenges. So I was thinking whose CPU do I put on Dark Water Endo, and I went after Baby, not a hard animatronic nor an easy one, just a medium, perfectly balanced, as all things should be. The fight was easy, mainly because I was a pussy and looked down all the time, but we don't talk about that. And after some time, Dark Water Endo was mine, this ugly ass fish was mine, and I can finally relax for a bit. Now that I said the word bit, I should talk about the Mega Bloks baby, I mean, 8-bit baby, I fought her with Frost Bear CPU, because there was no way that I would fight her CPU, she is way too quiet. And not long after that, the so long wanted Jacko Bonnie CPU was finally here, my god, the amount of time it took me to get it. I also leveled up to level 16, it gave me some buffs, but let's be honest, I'll never use them. And 2 hours and 3 minutes in, I got the final item of the day, Frost Bear CPU, now that things are chill. We can call it a day. The more days pass, the longer the pain goes, my legs are hurting me from standing up so much, I started the day by fighting 8-bit baby with Ballera CPU. Little editor's note, the text-to-speech app pronounces this animatronic wrong. He says Ballera, I know it's cringe and it's not supposed to be pronounced that way, but just bear with me. I'm now trying to get her CPU since I find her to be a relatively easy character to go up against, and with no problem, I defeated her. And I also sent Liberty Chick with Toy Bonnie CPU, I was missing the CPU, so wanted to fight it to get all the CPUs, and the fight was easy, the eye color was clear as water, so I didn't have a hard time identifying them. Unlike, some skins. And, you'll never guess it, daily challenges, and you know what's next, coins, and guess what, batteries. After some time, I got Minecraft baby, I'm now happy to say that I own her, and can move on to something else. Another's editor's note, I only had 47 minutes to play on Wednesday due to personal stuff, so I had to wait another week to start playing again, so from now on. All the clips will be one week later from all the past clips. So I sent Frost Plush Trap with Baller a CPU. I don't know why I send this random combinations, but hey it works, since I defeated the abomination I sent. 1 hour 27 minutes in, and I got Toy Bonnie CPU. Oh, hey, at least it's something, Liberty Chica is now in my collection. And with that, I sent a full Toy Bonnie, by full I mean Toy Bonnie suit and Toy Bonnie CPU. The fight wasn't that hard, though it was harder than my dip. So, about the fight, it wasn't that difficult. Defeated him without problem, and about 15 minutes after my first encounter, I got it. The CPU, again, a suit. Well I suppose it's better than nothing, and it means I get to suffer more with Toy Bonnie. Approximately 20 minutes later, I got another item. This time it was Baller a CPU, I'm finishing with my CPUs a lot faster than I expected, which is something I do like. Since I won't have to worry about getting certain CPUs, only two which I'll explain later. And with that, this day is finally over. One more day, I can start to see the light at the end of the tunnel, but that won't stop me from the grind. I started the day strong by sending three new candidates. The first one was Springtrap with Toy Bonnie CPU, just for me to prepare for the real Springtrap fight, which, spoiler alert, it won't happen in this episode. I was already used to the Toy Bonnie fights, so much that I didn't use my flashlight at all, so I had no trouble defeating him. Second candidate was Bollero with Baby CPU, the only tricky part was the charge and the footsteps. They're so confusing but eventually, I put Balero on her place, and easily defeated her. Nothing can stop me, well, actually, one thing, but we don't talk about that. And the last candidate, here is why I started spending a lot of coins on batteries. Because of this moment, a plush trap fight, you see, in a plush trap fight you always end up using an extra battery. 
sometimes even two, so I figured out that the more batteries I spend on the early runs, the more chances I'll have to fight him, and here's how the battle went. What are you doing? You're lost. Goodwill headset. You're literally free. So free. Freer than Peace Control Kyle. Dollar Tree PC. PC stands for Peace Control. You have negative earnings. Zero PR. Zero IQ. You're literally dog water. I successfully defeated him. And buckle up. Because those 53 batteries were faster than special deliveries popularity. Anyways. Back to the fights. 32 minutes in. And I got the first item of the day. Frost Blush Trap. After a couple of tries. And some lost extra batteries. The hunt for the suit was over, although, the CPU will still torture me. And not long after that, baby's CPU was added to my collection of growing items. One down, five to go, and with baby's CPU done, I went for the LEGO version of baby's CPU. Eight but baby CPU with baller a suit, the fight was similar to baby's, but this time, I enjoyed a sick tune. fight wasn't bad, it was just challenging. Since I already got Frost Plush Trap, I had to go up against Plush Trap, and there's a sad thing about Plush Trap, apparently his suit drop is tied with his CPU. And can't drop unless you fight him with his CPU, and now I'll say it in English. Basically, you cannot get his suit unless you fight Plush Trap with his CPU, similar to how the CPU works, doesn't matter how many combinations you try. The only way of getting his suit is by defeating him with his CPU, so I had to prioritize the suit, and started fighting him. Here's how the first fight went. I defeated him. I just hope that I can get his suit first, as I don't want to spend more batteries. Well well well, if it isn't another suit, which one is it now? Finally, it's over. I can finally rest. Toy Bonnie's CPU was mine after 1 hour and 21 minutes of starting the day, and 2 additional days. The pain was finally over. I was already getting short on CPU options, so I had to fight Springtrap with a CPU that I already had. Check his CPU, since she's so easy, and her fights don't take that long. So her fight was a walk in the park, successfully defeated and, got nothing out of it. After 1 hour and 35 minutes in, I got Roblox baby, the CPU list is already shrinking, the pain will soon be over, so again, I had to fight CPUs I already had. And started with Toy Freddy CPU with Ballera suit, I wouldn't rest until her suit was mine after some time. The drops seemed to calm down, and I had to stop playing soon, so I had to rush the fights, and what do you know, Plush Trap dropped something, his CPU. I would have much rather prefer the suit, but hey, this also works. Also after some fights with Ballera, the suit eventually had to drop, and sure enough, it did. I just wanted one more thing before I can call it a day, and that thing is, level 17? And how can we forget, more buffs. And just two minutes later, I got my final suit of the day, Springtrap, and with that, Thursday is finally over. The final day, since I already got a lot of things, I got an idea, I'm sure everyone knows what a random number generator is, right? If not, then I'll tell you, basically you put a low number, which will be the minimum number you can get and a high number, which will be the maximum number you can get. And you will be getting a random number within the numbers that you selected. For example, I have 1 as the lowest number, and 50 as the maximum. I can't get any number lower than 1, or any number higher than 50. So, I generate a number and I get 38. Now that we all know how it works, here's the idea I had. I listed all suits and skins that I'm missing from 1 to 30. Little editor's note. Great Escape Golden Freddy and Plush Trap are crossed out since I can't get them. So basically, I'll create a random number from 1 to 30, and depending on the number I get, those will be the animatronics I will fight and I will try to get. For example, I will generate a number. And... 
I got 19, and the number 19 is Black Ice Frost Bear, so I would have to fight him until I get the suit. Now that we all are on the same page, let's start the final day. Let's roll two numbers first, and the first one is 17, and it's Woodland Toy Freddy, and let's see for the second one. 21, so that's Curse, so I'll fight Curse and Woodland Toy Freddy, and I'll get to choose the CPU. I fought Curse first with Chicka CPU, it's nice to not have to worry about getting the CPU, and like any Chicka fight, it was extremely easy, not a challenge for me. <coughs> then I fought Woodland Toy Freddy with Toy Freddy CPU, he is an extremely easy character, so defeating him wasn't impossible for me. I'll fight these two until I get their suit, then I'll roll another number. I don't have much time to play right now, so I need to rush some fights, if I don't finish, then next part 1 I'll keep doing this random number generator thingy, until I get everything that I'm missing, except these two items, why you may ask, well, it's simple. I'll get Golden Freddy's CPU alongside with Great Escape Golden Freddy when I buy the Dark Circus, which will most likely be next episode, and Springtrap always bugs on my device. He either disappears from existence, or glues to my screen, so it'll be hard for me to defeat him, so I'll just get everything else and the focus on those two. About 15 minutes later, I got Curse. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! Woo! The first one of the day, and my second Springtrap skin, which is also my second favorite Springtrap skin, but now that we have him, we just need one more item from the first roll, and not long after that, 26 minutes later, Woodland Toy Freddy was added to my collection, although I'm not quite sure I can get something else, since I will stop playing soon, but nevertheless, I will make sure that I at least fight someone else, so let's roll one number, and that will be the one I go against with the remaining time I have, and I will continue fighting it next episode, so let's see, 22, Serpent Mangle, both skins from the same event, what a coincidence. I wanted to fight her with Mangle CPU, but my laziness didn't help and ended up fighting her with Chicka CPU, so I can speed up the fights and hopefully get something out of it. But unfortunately, I had to stop playing since I didn't had enough time to play, so unfortunately, that will be all the days of this challenge. It's finally done, the suffering has ended, literally hours of editing and playing just for a stupid challenge, but I won't lie, I had fun doing it, I almost got all my CPUs completed but, I still have a lot of progress to make. By the way, before I show you everything I got, I have a little message, if anyone wants to make this challenge on their YouTube channel, feel free to do so, just credit me and that's it, or don't, I don't really care. So. Here is a quick video of everything I got so far. Thank you all for watching this video, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button and subscribe for more bangers like this one, until next time, peace.